this lesson, we'll be creating a 3D video from a 2D photo. We'll be using fireworks to deconstruct the photo in real time. That'll take about 40 minutes. Then we'll be using Final Cut Pro to reconstruct the photo in layers. And the final result will look something like this. Start by opening the file in the course material provided. Go to the file menu and click on open. Then select photo 01 JPEG. Then save the project as a PNG. Go to File, Save As, select Fireworks PNG, give it a name and a directory path and click on Save. In the Layers panel, in the background layer, double click on Bitmap and type Original. Now set the canvas colour to Transparent. Go to the Modify menu, select Canvas, Canvas Colour and select Transparent. Now we're going to deep etch our front row. In the bitmap tool group, select the lasso tool and draw a loose marquee around our front row of subjects. Then copy and paste that selected area into layer 1. Apple C on the keyboard, select layer 1 in the layers panel and Apple V. Click on the eye icon in the background layer to hide it. And we can zoom in and out by holding down the Apple key and pressing plus or minus on the keyboard. The next thing to do is to remove the unwanted areas from this layer. We're going to do the hair and the flowers first, so with the lasso tool selected, draw a marquee around the hair and the flowers, slightly inside so we don't get any fogged edges, then return around the top to close the marquee. To add to that marquee, hold down the shift key and go onto the next area, then onto the next part, now if I take too much, I can subtract from that marquee by holding down the Option key. Now we want to diffuse the edges, so go to the Select menu, scroll down to Feather, and enter 3 pixels, and click OK. Then with the Delete key on the keyboard, delete the selected area, and press the Escape key to remove the marquee. Now finish off removing the unwanted areas, go to the Bitmap Tool group, and select the Polygon Lasso Tool and by clicking points, work your way around the first part that we want to remove, staying inside the area that we want to keep. The photo that we're working with here is an old family photo of mine. It's my great-grandfather Jack and his family. We're going to keep Jack's hand and his leg in this front layer. Return back to where you started and a small dot will appear to close the marquee. Feather that area, go to select, feather, and enter one pixel, click OK, and press the delete key, and press escape to remove the marquee. Now we're going to continue removing the areas that we don't want, bit by bit, and using time lapse, we're going to skip ahead to view the result. And the reason that we feather before we delete is to soften the edges. Now we want to add a layer of grass to that front row. In the Layers panel, hide Layer 1, unhide Background and select the original image, select the Polygon Lasso tool, and draw around the front layer of grass and ferns on the outside, return around the bottom to close the marquee, copy and paste that area into Layer 1, Apple C, select Layer 1, Apple V, hide the background layer and unhide Layer 1, hide the first bitmap, select the lasso tool. Now we're going to draw a marquee on the inside of this layer of ferns. Return around the top to close the marquee. Select feather. Enter 20 pixels and click OK. And then remove that selected area using the delete key. Press escape to remove that marquee. Then unhide the first bitmap in layer 1. Now select both bitmaps by holding down the shift key and group them together by going to the Modify menu and click Flatten Selection. Then name that bitmap Front. Now we're going to repeat the process for the next layer. In the Layers panel, hide Layer 1 and unhide Background. Select Original and with the Lasso tool draw a loose marquee around the back row of subjects. Copy and paste that selected area into Layer 1. Apple C, select Layer 1, Apple V, Name that new bitmap Mid. Unhide layer 1 and hide the background layer. 
Now we can zoom in using the zoom tool as well by drawing a rectangle around the area that we want to zoom into. Now repeating the process with the lasso tool selected we're going to draw a marquee around the hair and the flowers staying inside the area that we want and then coming back around the outside. Hold down the shift key to add to that marquee select feather enter three pixels for the hair and flowers and delete that selected area. Now come across to the other side and we'll go around the hair again. Back around the outside select feather three pixels and delete. Apple minus to zoom back out. Now move the front image up above the mid image in layer one copy and paste that front image Apple C, Apple V. Hide the top one, select the lower one. Now we're going to darken that copy of the front row, go to the filters menu, adjust color, hue and saturation. Then set the lightness to minus 100 and click OK. Now in the bitmap tool group select the rectangle marquee. Now draw a rectangle around the top of our darkened area. Select inverse and delete. Now that's given us a mat that shows us what needs to be filled in on our mid layer. Combine front and mid, shift click in layer 1, go to modify, flatten selection, then name that new bitmap mid. Then save your project, go to file, save. In the next lesson we'll finish deep etching our back row, we'll use the rubber stamp tool to cover the mats, and we'll export it in layers. The final result will look something like this.